Okay, let's do a small uh, update to the edit you know, I was thinking about. Um, so what I would like to do is this. When I do edit, so now when I do edit, I uh, end up in something like this. I can do uh, my contact list dot edit. And then I say I want to edit the first. So this will... Um, so this is will edit uh, Frank because Frank is the second. Um, so so now if I want to edit, I need to pass the entire object and change, let's say, from eighty-eight to seventy-seven. And you can see that uh, it's now uh, changed. You can uh, we can console log the list before and after so it was 88 and then it became 77 the problem here is that i need to pass again frank so what i would like to do is to have something edit uh, and then say phone for example and then instead of use the index i would like to search so edit the phone of Marco so this would read like like this edit the phone number of Marco and then I will pass the, the phone number here let's say this one but with 77 okay So I want to do this improvement and then we can go to a uh, launch. So the way you would do that is uh, so we can remove this and we said that we would like to have edit. We want to have uh, this one. So this will be say key so by default this phone then I will put that in the end like that so this would be like this so edit uh, Marco and this is a new phone number or maybe this is also better just pass the new phone number maybe this is uh, this is better um, so I can pass a, a part of the contact so I can say find Marco and then uh, update this part of the contact that also could be like a good way of doing it uh, perfect so this is a new contact and uh, instead of index we want the name and uh, and the index would be <coughs> so new contact here now um, so you know you know about the spread operator, right? Mm -hmm. Did you did you uh, the three dots? Yeah. 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 So let's play with that a little bit. So, so if I if I have an object here, let's say Can you make it a little bigger? yes. Uh, so my object is this. Okay. No, no, no. I wanna, I wanna merge two objects. No, no, not, not talking about the max num. Uh, so I have this uh, my object. And then I have this one. Mm -hmm. 
So this will be able to merge. It, it, the spread operator will take the my object and will spread all the keys. And all the keys in here were A and B. Then I take C and I wrap it in a new object. And that's this, my new object. I can also, this also allows me to change just this by doing this operation. So I could do B4. So I can edit just a, a bit of the object by passing a partial of the object because I could I could write I could wrote this right. Um, or I think just that that. Mm. No, I think this is fine. So this is allow allow me to to get and and, and, you, and you could actually spread both and wrap everything in one object. So that's what I want to do here. So this this list index is basically this. Comma. So I'm taking the, the old one and I'm spreading that. I'm taking the new one coming from here. I'm not spreading that and I'm merging them in, in a one new object. So I can partially update my, my contact in the contact list. This is the spread operator, okay? So, now let's do edit. So the edit now will be Marco and let's pass phone Let's put an uh, Italian phone. Yeah. So you can see Marco went from the Danish one to the Italian phone. So I was able to edit Marco with this command. Edit Marco, then pass a, par a part of the object. Index here. No, 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 no. The index is the same. The index is the same. What I, what I'm doing here is this: the element that was at this index is the, I take the same. You see, it's the same. Spread it, comma. Then I spread my new object that I want to merge, and this will merge left and wrap everything a new object. It's basically taking what is on the left, so the new contact, and merge it on the right by overwriting the keys. So if the keys was phone, it will be overwritten by the most right object. Okay. And the index, I'm using the search function that I, I had before. So now instead of, instead of index, I can have name here. And then I just I just use this search that I already had that return an index. Okay, let's uh, double check everything after lunch. Uh, let's see if all the validation that, uh, works, and uh, then I'll share this code with you, and then I show you a couple of improvements that we can do by changing uh, data structure and also creating a new class. Because now we are passing an object. Who was that? Uh, I think it was Mark actually that uh, in the beginning said, oh, we are just passing an object now. And uh, you, you already can see the problem there, right? If I'm asking, uh, as, uh, passing an object, then means I can go here and um,
mess things up, right? Now I don't have any more phone, I have a Mickey Mouse. So that's not a problem, that's a problem, right? So in the next iteration of this project, we see how we can improve that by creating another class called just contact, where we can uh, we need to create a new contact before put it in the contact list. And then we can embed in the contact some validation. So we will have two classes and not one classes and use both simultaneously. This is like decomposing now, right? I start with something big, but I say, okay, this is a, a small object, the contact, so I can create a class about the contact, mm -hmm. and I can use them together to improve. <coughs> yeah, composition. I'm, I'm composing the code, and then we're gonna export those files and use import and export and all that crap, and uh, and that's pretty much what what is happening today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I will stop the.